with Anastasia Chatska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. Welcome to Sewing Anastasia, and today we are gonna do another sweater alteration. We are gonna take a crew neck sweater and make it into a V-neck. You might think cutting into a sweater and altering the neckline is really daunting because everything could go wrong and you could destroy your sweater. But don't worry, this is actually a lot easier than you think and I'm going to do all of it on a regular sewing machine. So you don't need a serger for this technique, but if you have a serger, you can of course use it to finish your sweater edges. If you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. I put videos out twice a week, every week, so make sure you stay tuned and hit that notification bell. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing and following all of my sewing videos. I've been getting a lot of requests for how to alter the sweater neckline, so if you are one of those people asking, this video is for you. Supplies for altering your sweater are super simple. You're going to need a marking tool, you're going to need some matching thread and you're going to need some scissors and a sweater. The first thing you wanna do is try it on and figure out how low do you want the V in your sweater. So I put this sweater on the dress form here so you can see it easily. And I'm going to mark down about two inches. So I know this is how low I want my V point to be and it's right in the center. So I have my point marked two inches down from center front, and now what I need to do is blend out the neckline. So you could choose to do a curved V, you could do a straight V, you could blend out to the shoulder, you could blend right into the neckline that already exists. You have options here. This is all about your style. I'm going to be blending from center front to the existing neckline that's here. The next step is going to be seam ripping the rib knit around the neckline. So I'm gonna be seam ripping from center front all the way up to the shoulder here. I don't need to go all the way around because I'm not changing the back of my neckline. If you are changing the back of your neckline, then you need to rip the entire piece of rib knit off. So flip it so you can see the inside find the stitch, which can be a little tricky because I bet the thread matches, and start ripping. We're ripping the stitches that are holding the rib knit to the sweater neckline. And be really careful that you're not pulling this too much because you don't want your sweater to start fraying and falling apart. So once you get it started, it starts to come apart real easy. Again, just be really careful you're not pulling the neckline of your sweater because it is going to have raw open knit stitches which can unravel very easy. Okay, now I'm right up at the shoulder, so I'm gonna stop on that side and continue on the other side. Your collar also might just be one big circle, might not have had this little like indent or notch in the center front of it. So you would just keep continuing to the other shoulder, but my collar is already split in half, so I'm doing the other side. Okay, now we've made it up to the other shoulder. So we are all done seam ripping the neckline for right now. So our collar has been seam ripped in the front. So you'll notice now it's free. So now we're ready to restyle the front of our sweater. So my sweater already had a little notch cut out of the rib knit on the collar, right? And you need that notch because we're gonna end up sewing it together to create a V. So if you don't have a little notch already taken out of your rib knit collar, you need to create one. So a lot of collars are just round like the crew neck. So what you would do, cut down center front and cut that little notch out so that way we can sew it together to create the V. So if you have a rounded crew neck, you're gonna find your center point and mark it. And then what you're gonna do is mark an upside down triangle. And you're going to snip that out of the rib nip. And then what we're gonna do is sew it together and it creates a V. Now that you've caught your notch, let's see where we're at. So you'll notice the notch that's been cut out 
of the collar right here. It's really important that you have this cut out on a 45 degree angle because what we're gonna end up doing is sewing it together to create a V. So once you have that notch cut out, we are going to open up the ribnet because the ribnet is always doubled over. So it should look like this. Now that you have the V's cut out of the ribnet, it should look something like this when they're open. And now what we want to do is fold them right sides together. And then we're going to head over to the sewing machine and we are going to sew up this V point right here together using a little miniature zigzag stitch. So let's go sew it up. I have my sewing machine set up to a zigzag and I'm starting at the back edge. And we're going to make sure that we back stitch and then continue. When you get to the point of the V, make sure your needle is down, lift up your foot, and turn your fabric a bit. So that way you can come down the other leg of the notch. Back stitch when you get to the end, and cut. So let's take a look at what we just did. So I set my sewing machine to a zigzag and I sewed about a quarter of an inch away from the edge with a really small zigzag. So I didn't need a really wide zigzag because I wanna keep my seam allowance really small. So I just used a narrow zigzag and went down to the V, put my needle down, turned and went up the V. And now when we open it up, it looks like this. And then when we flatten it out, magic. You get a nice V for your V-neck sweater. We have the V and our ribnet all set. So now we're ready to sew it back to the sweater. So let's do it. Now what we want to do is take our ribnet and place it right side to the sweater. Make sure we're lining up the point of the V with the point of the V on our chalk mark and go ahead and put a pin there. Make sure you're just pinning through one layer. Now that we have the very tip of the points marked and lined up, we want to start pinning the rest of this ribnet along that chalk line. So because it is ribnet, it stretches, and we've made our neckline a little bit bigger, which is totally fine because the ribnet stretches. So we just want to line it up with that new chalk line and stretch it out and make it fit. So you can see it's totally gonna fit. So let's put some pins in there. You really want to make sure that you're blending right back into the seam that's already there if you did not alter your back neckline. If you altered your back neckline, just go ahead and restretch the ribnet around your entire neckline. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side following my chalk line. And now I'm done pinning. So I know this looks kind of funky, but you can see the V shape of the extra neckline that we're going to be cutting off. So we're going to sew this up first and then cut off the extra just so that the knit of the sweater doesn't come undone on us. And again, I'm going to be using a zigzag stitch when I stitch this down. You might be wondering, why can't I just cut the shape of the V right now? Well, when you cut the shape of the V, you're basically risking the sweater coming undone and when something's cut on an angle it stretches more so you also risk the neckline stretching out and getting all wobbly and funky so it's a really good idea to place your right sides together stitch it down and then cut off the extra plus if you were a little uneven on your measuring you can always flip it and check it out and make sure it looks good and then cut it off also, make sure you are using a zigzag stitch or a stitch for sewing knits because if you use a straight stitch for this and you go to put your sweater over your head and you stretch it a little, that straight stitch is going to pop and your sweater is going to fall apart. So make sure you're using a zigzag stitch because that allows for some give when the fabric stretches. So let's go sew this collar back on. Make sure you have your machine set to your zigzag stitch and back stitch and let's follow our neckline. Make sure you take your pins out before you get to them. And if you need to stretch out your fabric a little, you totally can. When you get to the point, make sure you leave your needle in, lift up your foot and turn. And then continue up the other side of the sweater. 
And just keep sewing to where you end up overlapping the stitches that are already existing on your neckline. Or if you tore off your whole neckline, just keep going until you end up where you started. When you get to the end, make sure you back stitch and cut. So we have our rib knit sewn to the neckline in a V-shape, looking great. And now what we need to do is cut off the extra fabric. And you might be wondering, isn't it all gonna unfray and unravel? Well, we used a zigzag stitch when we sewed it together, which is going to secure all the little knit pieces together. So we don't need to worry about it unraveling. If you wanted, you could cut it and go back over it and serge it or zigzag it again, but you don't have to. So you can see this extra chunk of fabric we have here at the neck that we need to get rid of. So this whole piece right here, we need to get rid of. And the easiest thing to do is going to be cutting it down center front first and then cutting off the extra little flaps of knit fabric. So let's do it. So first I'm gonna cut down center front to where the V is so you can see it flattens open now. And now what we're going to do is cut off this extra knit. Look at that. And now it's laying so much flatter. And now we have a V-neck. So let's turn it right side out and try it on and check out what we just did. Here's our new neckline. We went from a crew neck with a notch to a V-neck and it was so easy. You'll notice that everything is laying nice and flat. It's nice and smooth. We have our seam right up center front creating our V. Remember that notch we cut out that created that really nice V for the neck. That was so easy, right? Not a big deal at all. I hope you enjoyed watching how to transform your crew neck to a V-neck today. If you have any questions, make sure you leave it down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, give it some applause and leave a comment down below. I'd love to know what you thought of this technique. And don't forget to follow me on social media on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and TikTok and all those fabulous social media websites so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And don't forget about YouTube. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because new videos come out every single week and you don't wanna miss one, right? And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for following along and watching all of my sewing videos. And if you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and family so we can help spread the love of sewing everywhere. Thanks so much for watching, bye.